Now for the better part of the last month, I've been using the Dell XPS 15 9500 as my daily driver, as my main laptop. I wanted to see how it would perform over the long haul. And I'm glad I did because this has got to be one of the best 15 inch laptops on the market right now here for 2020. It's actually mid 2020 and I'm really super impressed with it. I like what Dell did moving to that 16 to 10 aspect ratio, the micro thin bezels due to the infinity edge display that has even bezels all around, the move to the 10th generation processors. It's got a GTX 1650 Ti with Max-Q design as its GPU to give you some nice horsepower under the hood and it has an improved quad speaker system that produces excellent sound this all has the makings of a winner hey everybody it's Andrew and this is my review of the Dell XPS 15 9500 all new for 2020 coming up Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. Make sure you follow me on social media, especially Twitter and Instagram. I post a lot of updates on those platforms. And of course, in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Dell. I'm not being sponsored by Dell. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and no one is seeing this video before it's released. This review unit is on loan from Dell and will be returned once this review is done. The new Dell XPS 15 starts at $1,273.99. That price is actually on sale. It's down from the $12.99 asking price when it initially debuted about a month ago. And I would keep my eye on the website as Dell constantly is running sales so you can get a pretty good deal on what I consider one of the best all-around laptops you can get right now. Now what we're looking at here is an all metal premium build of course, it's at four and a half pounds for the touch model. It's a little bit less of course with the non-touch model. I would go with the touch model with that 4K or UHD plus display. And as you can see here, it definitely is a pretty svelte and pretty light considering what you're getting under the hood. It packs a lot of power for a 15 inch laptop. And to give you a size comparison, here it is next to the Dell XPS 13 9300. That, of course, has a 13.4 inch display. This has a 15.6 inch display. And here it is next to the Apple MacBook Pro 16. To give you a good size comparison, this will show you the difference between the two. All right, now as far as the display is concerned, it is excellent. What we're looking at here is a 15.6 inch infinity edge display. It's a multi-touch display that has a resolution of 3840 by 2400. That is a UHD plus resolution. It also means it has a 16 to 10 aspect ratio, which is great for getting work done, for productivity, and for consuming media, watching Netflix, YouTube, and the like. And it covers the color gamut really well, 98% sRGB, 88% Adobe RGB, 76% of the P3 wide color gamut, and 77% NTSC, making this a great choice for those creative professionals that do Lightroom, Photoshop, and of course, video editing. And it's an extremely bright display coming in at 548 nits, making this an excellent choice of both indoor and outdoor use. It is simply stunning on just how bright this display gets. I absolutely love that. Now this is a four-sided infinity edge display with equal bezels all around, and it really is super slim as far as the bezels are concerned, giving off a sleek and modern look. I absolutely love it. Now, if you saw my unboxing video, you know that my webcam was defective and I had to return it back to Dell. So my review unit, fortunately, does not have the same problems. It doesn't have those spots as we saw in that unboxing video. So this is the front-facing camera on the review unit that Dell provided me. And this one is obviously not defective. This is good for Skype, good for Zoom, any kind of video conferencing that you might need. Of course, working from home is in the forefront right now while we're in this pandemic. Uh, it's okay. I would say it's not the best camera I've ever seen, certainly not the worst, but at least I don't have those spots on it this time. So that's good. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. And in addition to having a Windows Hello camera, you also have a fingerprint scanner. The power button doubles as that fingerprint scanner, registering my finger pretty much each and every time I used it, working really well. 
Now I covered the ports in my unboxing video, but for those that didn't see it on the left side, you get a Kensington lock port, two Thunderbolt 3 ports that support data charge and display out. Now moving over to the right side, you get a USB-C port, a full size SD card reader, and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Missing are USB-A and an HDMI port. Luckily, they do give you a hub in the box to give you those ports. Kind of wish it was on the device, but that's not what we get this time around. Okay, the review unit Dell sent me has the Intel Core i7-10875H, an 8-core processor with the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Ti. It's a mobile GPU, it's a discrete GPU, and it's actually performed pretty well. And the numbers are very good, as you see here. Now, the Premiere Pro video render test that I did, it did 8 minutes and 42 minutes, beating out the Razer Blade from 2019. That had 6 cores with the RTX 2070, but not quite as fast as the Dell XPS 15 7390 with the Core i9 from last year. Now, of course, there will be a Core i9 version of this year's model, so stay tuned for that. It's not quite out just yet. Now, of course, this is not a dedicated gaming laptop, but it can play games, and I found the sweet spot to be the medium settings, 1080p, Fortnite, GTA 5, Apex Legends, Far Cry New Dawn, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Witcher 3, and more, all had playable frame rates. Now, when it comes to the thermals, I thought it was good. It got up to 99 degrees Celsius before it started to thermal throttle. Remember, this is a thin and light 15-inch laptop. It is in a pretty compact design. So, of course, thermals are going to be an issue. And as you can see here, it has dual fans to cool the CPU and the GPU. Now, while inside, you'll notice that you do have expandable RAM. There are two slots for that, and that's great. And it has two SSD slots for you to expand out the storage. Although the SSD that they do give you has some excellent reads and writes, as you can see from these results. Now this time around they went with an 86 watt hour battery that's down from last year's model although you do get some pretty good run times as indicated by the results from my continuous web surfing test over wi-fi at 150 nits it did nine hours and 58 minutes not quite as good as the macbook pro 15 from 2019 or the macbook pro 16 for 2020. Now, as far as wireless is concerned, you're looking at Killer Wireless 6. So that's good. We're future-proofed in that regard. And it also has Bluetooth 5.0. All is working well as far as range, connections, and I'm getting good uploads and downloads. I have no complaints on that front. Now, as I mentioned in my unboxing video, we have an improved keyboard here, much like we did see with that Dell XPS 13 9300. Good tactile feedback, good key travel, and it does have a multi-stage backlight, which allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. It worked really well. Now, of course, there has been some controversy surrounding the touchpad, a loose touchpad to be specific, and inadvertent clicks that some people were experiencing. Now, Dell has since issued a statement saying that anything shipped in June should not have this issue, and that if they do have this issue, they should contact customer service right away. They'll honor their warranty, of course, and ship you out a new unit. Now, my review unit that Dell sent me doesn't have the issue, and the one that I purchased with my own money prior to this didn't have it either, although it had other problems, such as a defective webcam and bent fins as you probably know if you watched my unboxing video but this actual particular unit that i have has a very good touchpad it really works well i like the size i like the responsiveness as far as two finger scrolling is concerned and all the windows 10 gestures are working as advertised now, I love the quad speaker setup that Dell went with this time around, and it gives you some really good 3D audio, according to Dell. And I got to say, it gets loud, good bass, good mids, fills up the room really nicely. And here's a sound comparison with the Apple MacBook Pro 16, what I think is the best in class. Hey, everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my unboxing and first look at the Dell XPS 15 9500, all new for 2020. Coming up. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my unboxing and first look at the Dell XPS 15 9500, all new for 2020. Coming up.
So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the Dell XPS 15 9500 here for 2020? And the answer is an absolute yes. This is a really stunning device in the sense that it has a gorgeous 15.6 inch UHD Plus Infinity Edge touch display. Vibrant, very sharp, improved keyboard over the last generation. I really like the keyboard on this. I like the fact that they went with these 10th generation processors for increased performance and better efficiency in a lot of ways. I like the outstanding quad speaker design. I like the very good battery life we get out of that 86 watt hour battery. And of course, we get that outstanding build quality. The negatives here, as I mentioned in my unboxing video, no USB-A port, no HDMI port, although they do give you that hub in the box. Well, that's a good sign right there. But it is a major fingerprint magnet when it comes to that carbon fiber deck on the inside. And of course, this can get expensive, although I've noticed that there are some sales that Dell runs that make this really competitive against, especially against the Apple macbook pro i'm going to give this a score of 93 percent making the dell xps 15 9500 my editor's choice for the 15 inch laptop category yeah it's that good So what do you think about this bad boy, the Dell XPS 15 9500? I absolutely love it. Now, one of the things that really stand out to me with it is, of course, great build quality, although Dell did have some issues with some quality control early on, namely the touchpad issue that a lot of people were experiencing, loose touchpad, uh, inadvertent clicks. I'm glad Dell has recognized and acknowledged the problem. Hopefully everything from June on will be fine. But of course, if you're experiencing any problems, contact customer service. I'm I'm sure Dell will take care of you. It's got a good warranty as well. Now, as far as performance is concerned, everything working well. I have the Core i7 with its eight cores working really well. Great for video editing, 4K video editing. You could also do gaming on this. Of course, I found that the medium settings with the 1080p really was the sweet spot. So you can get very playable frame rates. I like performance with everyday use, Microsoft Office, email, web browsing, it all worked well. Now, as far as the display, it is absolutely gorgeous. We're looking at an infinity edge display with equal bezels all around micro thin bezels that we absolutely love now I like the improved quad speakers here what I like this for is it fills up the room really nicely gives a nice rich sound good bass good mids now it's not quite as good in my opinion at least as the MacBook Pro 16 which I think is the best in class but this is a very close second I think they did a really good job on the speakers but I'm curious to know what you think let me know in the comment section below you're looking at about 10 hours of everyday use thanks to that 86 watt hour battery i think the battery was pretty decent although it is smaller than last year's model to get this smaller size for this year now of course you're going to need to charge it does come with a 130 watt power adapter which does charge pretty fast so that's good to know it does it does support express charge now of course this is not cheap this comes in at around 23 or 2400 dollars now dell does run sales and then as we're coming up against the july 4th weekend keep your eye on the website i wouldn't be surprised if a lot of these units units are on sale for the Independence Weekend here in the United States. So check it out. Of course, I'll put the link below where you can buy it and get more information. But I like what Dell did with the redesign and overall great performance. I'm really happy with it. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya. Thank <music> you.